Yo. 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 I always love doing it. I haven't done that in a while, and like I, I feel like I've been missing it. How's everybody doing this morning? Woo! <laughs> Good. It's night in here. I guess Ooh. Sylvia hasn't seen me do this in long enough. She was like, yeah, it's nice, and you're not supposed to answer that question. It's hypothetical. <laughs> okay. it's really I, mean, I said, it is night in here. I wasn't asking you. That's oh, what I was saying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck it. It I is can't. night. Not Stop. nice. Who cares? I'm trying to start to <laughs> choke, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm a choke, Sylvie. Anyways, welcome to Dating with Disabilities. It says 24, but this is actually number 23. I think we've had like 24, 25 of these scheduled. But they don't always happen. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, one. I think one week Jerry was like, I don't feel good. There was one week where I didn't feel good. And I think there was one week where Jane Doe was like, I don't feel good. So um, <laughs> I think we got our shit figured out now. Um, how's everybody doing this morning? How's it, you guys all there? Woo, now you can talk. Yeah. 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 We're alive. I'm your host with the most. I'm Suit Man. Uh, I've been, uh, I don't know. I went on a vacation. I got a tattoo. Uh, what else? I've been on some dates. Yes. I've been living what what as my sisters call it, my best life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how you gotta do it. Uh welcome to uh dating with disabilities. We got our usual crew here. Uh give it up for the uh co-host with the mostest. Looks like she's on an acid trip. Give it up for Jean Jira, the pale It's chip. me for our audio only listeners i got the lo-fi living room background going special thanks to adobe stock because i'm too lazy to draw my own stuff right now i just moved so that my actual background is as chaotic as my life so i was like let's let's present something a little pretty let's go oh (laughs) At least it's pretty on the outside because I know she's dark on the inside. Anyways, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And the best part is, I actually saw her in real life the other night, which never mm-hmm. happened. It was the crossover of a lifetime. I was just chilling at work, ten minutes away from my day ending, and I see the brightest shirt I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, wait a minute, I recognize those curls, but just in case I didn't, and it was some guy that looked like him, I had to text <laughs> the man first and be like, hey, are you at my place of work right now? And then I saw him looking around, spinning in circles like a little dog, and I was like, I think he got my text. I better go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there like, is this a spy mission? Like, I've been spotted. <laughs> what, is, what is going on here? I'm going to give it up for one of our other hosts the most. She doesn't know when to shut the fuck up either, but she's learning. Uh... Well, <laughs> she knew who I was talking about. He's at a bar at 2 in the morning or 12 in the morning. Anyways, give it up for Sylvie, the comic, everybody. <laughs> How have you been? Long time no see. What have you been up to? I'm good. I'm good. I love it when I want her to talk. She don't have shit to say. When I'm trying to get to be quiet, she's like, "I got 17 things to say." Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How's Toronto these days? No, I'm in uh, Indonesia actually. I'm in. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, You're Surabaya. Yeah. Indonesia. What did you go to Indonesia for? Uh, my dad uh, passed away in October, so we wow. bring uh, his ashes back here. Yeah. Way to be a buzz killer. Thanks. Way to be a buzz killer. Anyways, <laughs> all the way. <laughs> our other, our other international, international, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> our other international uh, uh, guest today and, and usual panel mm-hmm. members here. She's on time, fresh off a, of, what is it? She's got an English Grammy, if I, or Emmy or some bullshit. She was nominated, right? Give it up for Variety D. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Yes, breaking news. <clears throat> breaking news. I'm officially single again. What? <laughs> it was, <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was literally thinking, is she still getting that uh, uh, long distance tea? Is that is that still an option? I'm going to assume that's a, that's a no. <laughs> yeah. 
Good I'm getting no dick in my house. But I'm lucky that my ex-boyfriend left me some toys. I'm like, yes, thank no. you. Because <laughs> you, know, you know my disability. My disability is SFX. And I need the dick, okay? Sexual frustration extreme is not contagious, but it is addictive. So, yes, I got some good help. Good. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Yeah. This is where this is where the the adult toy companies need to like throw in a little little sponsor for us. I want to do the testers. You know where they get paid like ten thousand bucks or something to test like the new that like, RoboCop dildo or something like that. I want to listen. I got ideas and a new income. An income to come. Is that does that Ooh, make sense? Well, we love that. That would be outcome for income, right? A little discharge for a surcharge. Oh, my hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I did not. Maybe I did say that. Maybe I. I yep, yep, yep. I did. I did, I did I can't Whatever shit happens. That was a pretty good one. A little discharge for surcharge. Royalties. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> and then last but definitely not least, if you can't tell, he doesn't have c- cerebral palsy. He's in a wheelchair, so he just 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 can't stop moving. The fucker won't sit still. I uh, give it up for our guest today, Jerry Mitchell. What's up? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Finally. Where you where you from? <laughs> where you from? Tell us who you are real quickly. You don't have to give us the whole four four one, but tell us who you are. What's your name? Where you from? Yeah, uh, Jerry Mitchell. Um, I'm so right now. I'm in between Federal Way and the Westport area. So Grays Harbor. That's where my girl lives. So I've Nobody been traveling knows between. Where the fuck that's at? You're it's in the, the ocean, Seattle so area. Seattle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're, I'm Seattle. I work in Seattle. That's where I met Dante. So stupid man. And um, everybody's yeah, it's all good. watching is like, I have federal way. Is he locked up? Is he in yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> they call it felony way out here, dude. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's awesome. What's sorry about, the, I don't know how to angle my phone the right way, and it's like I'm just chilling. So I'm sorry if it's at a weird angle. So what I would say is, uh, angle it about get your head up about let stop about right there. There you go. I need I'll, a stand, I grab a pillow. How are you gonna stand? What, what, no, what, for my oh, phone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to hell, hell here. Never mind. Huh? We're gonna be, we're gonna change subjects. We don't <laughs> understand okay. if you can't stand this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. It might happen. This is the day. Jesus Christ! Thanks. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so. Uh, we'll, we'll tell everybody real quick. No, we'll, we'll get there in a minute. So I like to do a little round table discussion. Um, I don't have anything today, but usually I try to. Um, my question is, is, is what's the hot topic these days? Well, I'm just going to put it out there. Um, do you have a boo for the holidays? And how soon or how long should you be dating before Christmas gifts are mandatory? Ooh. At least two seasons. I mean, we've got we've got two months till Christmas. So, should you've been dating since summer? Should you've been dating since Labor Day? What are your thoughts, Variety D? Go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you go first. Two seasons. So that's uh, some see. So before winter is what? It's summer. <laughs> yeah. You're doing math and trying to figure. Yeah, man. Two seasons. Let me check my calendar. It's called oh, British um... math. Yes, British maths. Yes, good. Americans, welcome. So, welcome to Hogwarts math. So, <laughs> so, about two Harry Potter episodes before the Christmas. Like, yeah. That's how long you gotta wait. Because that's how, and that's how long it takes to see how she's talking shit. She's like, not two months. Like, yeah. You sure. have it. <laughs> you're, you're an asshole. And so, I think uh, spring. If you date in spring, then you know, summer passes and then winter, then you can buy Christmas presents. But if you date it after spring, you can't get no Christmas presents. You can get some some touch, some Christmas hugs, <sighs> but you can't get no Christmas goodies. No. Not no. that you can't get them, but they shouldn't be, they're not mandatory. Like you're doing extra yeah. credit. Okay. Okay. It's funny because right. I know I'm a, I'm a December birthday. And I was talking to a lady the other day, and I was like, you don't have to worry about getting me a birthday or Christmas present. I'm not expecting it, <laughs> right? 
And then she's like, my birthday's in February. I was like, oh, you're not getting one either, bitch. Don't worry. It's called equality. Tell me, what are your thoughts? How how long do you have to date to be expecting a, a Christmas present? Me? I think so. I don't I don't I don't have uh, the the time things and I like to give gifts. Mm-hmm. So it's just about like how much you want to spend, but I like to give uh, gifts every single, like, you know, oh, I, I found this thing, the little things and they're like, okay, I'll just for this one. So, you know, it's always, always something. And uh, yeah. I already prepared the, um, because I will be here uh, the whole, like uh, December and Jan- almost Jan- all the January as well. So I already prepare everything for the gift um, like a long, long time ago. So. So this is what we call a sugar mama, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Sylvie's like, I just mm-hmm. like to spoil my man. I just buy him gifts here and there. You know, you got to keep him enthused, you know. You mm-hmm. gotta... <laughs> <Ta-da>! <laughs> Danger. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Well, first of all, I got to flex. If anybody needs to buy a Christmas gift this year, I have a shop. <laughs> PeachfulCreations.com. I make all of their cute good needs you need something unique and different for her or him or them i got you second i got a flex i do got a boo this christmas so we were together five years ago and then there's you know a five-year time gap so this year i was like listen mostly because i'm indecisive i'm gonna get you four christmas gifts to make up for the Christmases we could not spend together due to the time gap. And he was like, oh my God, I love that. And I was like, "Mm mm-hmm. Cause gift giving is my love language. Like it doesn't matter how long I've known you. If I've known you for like two days and we vibe, I'm writing your birthday down. I'm planning your Christmas gift. You're getting it from me. But if I don't like you, if like, if you're a problem, you're not getting no gift from me, okay? You'll probably get a gift card at best that had no thought put into it at all. I feel attacked. I feel like she's talking to me. Like, she's, I really don't like you. Like, you like, gift card. like, you bitch, whatever. I don't want your fucking Starbucks gift card anymore. I go, like, my feelings are fucking hurt. My feelings. Well, I can't, well, the thing is, like, the, my best friends, I can't tell you what your gift is because it's a surprise. So if you're really close to me, you're going to think you're not getting a gift. And then you'll open the mail. You'll get a full package of all the things. And you'll be like, what? How would you get my address? And I'll be like, don't worry about it. Is that where I got those <laughs> anal beads from last year? Now I get it. Now I get it. This is all making sense. I was like, this must have been from Denise as a gag gift. That bitch, she knows I'm not like that. Never mind. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it was Jay Jura. A little side of glitter. Slightly used, though. Nobody wants to be <laughs> used. Anal beats. Uh, what about Jerry? Since you can't roll around and get away from a girlfriend. I'm figuring you got to get me earlier, right? Yeah. Yes, how long, you're right. How long are you dating a girl before you're giving her or expecting a Christmas gift? You know, um, I guess I'm kind of like Sylvia on that fact. I, I'm pretty, uh, I'm a gift giver myself. I mean, um, shoot, I brought her flowers on the first day. Aww. Yeah. So, I'm a romantic, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge romantic type, you know, and um, I don't, I don't time it. I, I don't think it's, a, uh, you know, you go by seasons or a time frame. I think if you're with somebody, you know, you show them a good time and show them that you, you know, you like them and i mean not even the whole like them thing but you just do it you know no yeah. it's called them cheap if i don't have a coupon you're not getting shit bitch you know See? I mean? like that's uh so yeah i got this i'm gonna spoil it this year <laughs> i mean we're, we're we're engaged so i'm in a spoiler this year for sure it's our first yes! Yeah. Can I ask uh, you more questions about that? Uh, yeah. Oh, Sylvie's um, in it already. Go ahead, Sylvie. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's just like you we're asking for about um, when you get the gift, you know, for your for your loved ones. But what about this? Like is, is there any chance that your loved ones say that don't give me gift, but just um 
um, the That's card the or just money? Um, are you asking directly to me? Yeah, anybody, yeah. Anybody, Andrew, Jerry, answer the I question, mean, sucker. I mean, yeah, I, I would. I mean, you know, the funny thing is, my girl's not really big into um into the whole gift thing. Um, she she's more into time with mm. each other. She doesn't even dates. It took me, I want to say, two maybe three months to actually take her on a date. You know, to a steakhouse out where she lives and stuff like, like I tried multiple times and it was just let's hang out. You know, um, she wanted time together. You know, so that's her love language is just time spent together. And I think once you realize that kind kind of thing with your uh, partner, your significant other, then you adapt to it because I like all of them. I'm not just a time kind of person, but I I do like being able to. I I, I like to spoil you know uh my girl Yay. you know and stuff like that so i want to be able to i want to hit the whole list you know that's what i'm about so so yeah. do i all three holes oh i'm that's sorry yeah, yeah, I'm like that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm, I'm, I'm uh -huh. you know I'm, I'm gonna put it to you like this uh i do not give out money um and here's why because you should be getting it <laughs> a gigolo, bitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> he had a pay to play with me. Um, what I would say to that is, is I don't, I don't like the idea of like just giving somebody straight cash. Now, don't get me wrong; you need a bill paid. There's emergencies. That's cool, but um, no, like no. Um, if if, I, if I'm gonna give you a gift, I'm usually. I think I've given Jane Jir or something before, and it was all thoughtful. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm going to cry. And I said, bitch, don't you dare. I'm never going to give you a gift again if you start giving <laughs> We don't do those. No hugs. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> right? But in the same breath, right, I like, if I'm going to give you something, I want it to be what I gave you. Right? And a lot mm -hmm. of times, even like, uh, like, I remember I used to, when I was married, I'd buy my wife these random jewelries at Kohl's because I always got everything on a deal at Kohl's, and then you can use a coupon. <laughs> Right. And then not only that, but you get, I got like $1,200 Tahitian pearls. They were fucking huge. Black pearls, earrings, right? Wow. $60. Like 5%, because wow. they were at 80, 90% off. And then I had a 50% off coupon. So it got down to like 60 bucks. And I'd love to buy all these great jewelry that were amazing. And my whole thought process was, is when you buy somebody something like that, you're buying them something that they would want and not need. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when you're frugal, a mom, a dad, a business owner, you don't always get your wants, but you do get your needs. Yeah. And so when I give people gifts, sometimes I try to fill those wants instead of their needs. I'm not going to buy you a pair of fucking socks. I hate that. When the dads are like, <laughs> just get me socks. Fuck <laughs> you. Save your fucking your beef jerky and your coffee change for a couple of weeks and go buy yourself some socks. Here, try this aqua velva blue. It smells better, right? Like <laughs> which stuff on your old ladies. I'm I'm not in the fan of giving money or, or anything like that. I think that becomes a little bit too transactional. Now, what are your thoughts, Friday D? I've done it before. I've done it a lot of well, I say a lot of the men I've dated or been with, sorry, um, it's they're mostly poor. We have this thing called JSA, which is like a you guys call it a welfare system. And I take the piss out of it. I call it Jamaican smoking allowance. Okay, every time I keep um giving money to these guys, well, my ex boyfriends, they'll take it and then they'll buy weed and smoke it, and I'll be like, raw, you know what? I guess you didn't really need that, did you? That was a good thing. So it was puff, puff, just gone. So only recently, so with the relationship I just had, a, say, a moment ago, which has been a year and a half nearly, um, I've known about gifts and what they mean and all that kind of stuff since I've moved to my own house. I'm going, like, oh, so this is a gift. It's not just sex, not just money. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that kind of stuff. We go, we're outside. Oh, my gosh, we're in Paris. Like, you know, that kind of thing there. It's, like, it's something that's, that has a meaning to it, not meaningless. 
So before it was all meaningless. It was all like, ah, oh, get me a beer. Um, okay, but can I borrow 20 pounds? I just get a spliff, which is weed, or wacky backy, we call it as well in London. Um, yeah, I went I went with some really dangerous guys here Ooh. in the south. All right, yeah. we're not talking about these southies. I already know that's a bad thing. <laughs> Anyways, give it up for Jane Tier. What do you think, Jane Tier? Wow. You put out money. Well, I mean, I got an Asian family, so during like Christmas and holidays and stuff, it's kind of the normal thing to be like, "Here's the extra twenty with your gift," and just like slide it in there, <laughs> or here's the extra envelope. sixty if you're the favorite grandkid or something oh. like that. But like, that's more like a friends and like family type of gift. Um, but also, like, if the person, if their love language is gift giving, well, I mean, you know, they like any of the things. But I think the real challenge is getting a gift for those people that are like, gifts isn't their love language. So you got to try extra harder. And it's like, okay, is it practical? Are they going to love it? Did they say five months ago? Did they mention it one time five months ago? Like my partner did. I was like, I want to buy this with my tax refund. So I will wait till my tax refund, but I'm really excited about it. And then my birthday rolls around and he's like, hey, guess what? I got this for you so you can spend your tax refund on something else. And I was like, oh my God, that's genius. So it depends on like person to person. Although if they're like financially struggling and you know that information, just saying $40 could go a long way. You never know. Mm -hmm. That's that's the going rate for a piece of ass too. I'm just saying. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, that's cheap. No, that's $69. No, no, no. <laughs> not paying inflation. You guys are bonking in America. <laughs> Sophie, are you giving out cash or are you giving out ass? Which one? <laughs> um, never ass. <laughs> but a virgin ass. <laughs> wow, she took it's that one. TMI, safe. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> but like with my mom and my dad, uh, yeah, they have a Several times, actually, I try to to get what they want or what they need. I thought, and a lot of time they will just give it back to me, and say that like return it and give me the cash. <laughs> so it's like no, but it will just be a cash. It's not. There is no like connection or something. Mm-hmm. But it's, I feel it's that. It's just uh, yeah, and then they will sometimes say like yo, I like this one, but I prefer to have that things that for this kind of holiday and uh, you know it's just like come on dad <laughs> yeah, yeah that's why i believe like as long as you don't buy clothes right you never buy clothes right you never buy food you never buy shoes you never buy things that are too personal you don't have that problem but so for most people out there you're not getting a fucking gift from me that's what i'm telling you <laughs> Oh, this is a hint. Hint. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. hint, hint. By the way, and if you buy me one, like Jane Jarrett said, it better be thoughtful. I better have wanted it. I'm gonna definitely critique. I am the Black Sheldon. I see why I have no friends. Anyways, let's get this <laughs> show on the road. So Jerry, um, yeah, you know your handicap just because you're on the show. Yeah. What was the question? Oh, that that crazy. awkward moment when Dante's audio completely cuts out when he's in the middle of asking a question. Oh, God. Is, am I back? Can you hear me? You're back okay. in the game. I, there we go. <laughs> I, I cut out right as I was like, what? He's like, what do you mean? Like, Are <laughs> you, what's censored. wrong with you? And then everybody's like, yeah, his internet cut out. I was like, oh, fucking great. That's awesome. <laughs> For, I know you're in a chair, but what's... And actually, we're all in chairs. But you're always... In a chair, am I right? That's there. What, what's wrong with you, Jerry? Whether what it's the car, whether it's the wheelchair, whether <laughs> it's work, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I have what you call arthrogryposis. It's a joint disorder I was born with. Um, arthrogryposis. That's right. Arthrogryposis. Um. Oh my gosh, what's the rest of it? I it's got know. like three words to it. It's uh, it's a weird one. I just call it. We call it being a uh, gripo, you know. So, yeah. I mean, that and it sounds too close to Chimo that I'm like, I don't know. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gripo yeah, yeah, Chimo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they get yeah. away from you? They put a stick in his wheels and he falls over. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know, and for so and it affects everybody differently. 
Um, for me, uh, so and it's a joint. So it's arthritic, as you could tell with the arthro. You know, the arthrogryposis. It's an arthritic condition. So it's um, I can feel head to toe. Everything works. I, I That's love a blessing. To, I, I love to say that because I don't. That was the first thing he wanted to say to me. We're at work, and he's like, "Yeah, man, my dick works." I'm like, "Great, cool." Yeah, I was gonna say. He said he can feel head. All I had is that he can feel head. Jerry's showing off. No, that I mean. I'm what telling you, you. What did you say, Variety D? What did you say? Jerry said he can feel head. I figured he's showing off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I take hands. I take blowies. I take them all. Come on, dude. You know, you know, my favorite position is when, uh, when I when you know the captain when you do that stance, the captain. I that's I, I don't know what the captain is. I just learned what the Eiffel Tower was. Okay. We we got I'm Captain Favor. Yeah, <laughs> it's the Captain Morgan stance. You know, when you do that, that's my favorite position right there, bro. All day long. I need to cook out that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a drink, Patty Morgan. <laughs> that's right. I got my ex drinks and go crazy. Ah. Uh, I don't even drink, and I know that. Jesus Christ! And they got my tattoo <laughs> after this episode. What's wrong with me? So we, we we always. So it sounds like you've always been in the chair, that right, Jerry? That's right. Thirty-seven years. I rolled out the womb in the thing. <laughs> hey. Did they give her a C-section, or did you just natural? Did the no, this thing came out with me, bro. Attached. I'm going to know. <laughs> uh, everybody at work's going to be like, why doesn't he work at Climate Pledge anymore? And they're going to be like, you didn't see the interview with Jerry? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he was making his chair, so he don't You and me both, bro. We're, we're, we're the same, buddy. <laughs> and so if you've always been here, um, obviously it sucks, right? Uh, not in right or wrong, but the, what's your biggest drawback? I mean, are you mad? You've always have you ever got to play sports? Do you do the wheelchair sports? Do you do the? Yeah, I play basketball. Um, I actually played professionally overseas. That was my highest point with uh, basketball. Um, I played uh, Division One with Orlando uh, back in from 2007 to uh, 2011. We won the national championship in 2009, went back to it in 2011, lost it. And uh, in between that was when I went to Italy. So I've raced, uh, done the marathon stuff, swimming. Um, I was very elite with wheelchair racing, did ping pong, like table tennis as well. Um, one, I, I've, been, I've been successful in every sport I've competed in. Um, we'll play some I, football, I, bitch. Come on, let's dude, go. I, I, you know what? It's a new thing. It is. Flag football is out there. We need it. Do yeah, it flag football now. That shit is so. I the reason why I yeah. got friends. You're not my first friend that's in a wheelchair. If you didn't know, um, I, I I was in special needs, so we all went to the same fucking classes back when we were kids. If you remember, uh, the the regular kids that were uh autistic and all that half the yeah. day school guy in the fucking wheelchair was nah 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 shit and i remember i had a buddy who was like in wheelchair basketball and he, you yep. guys are like hyper fucking aggressive huh we are and <laughs> a lot of people that see it i'll be honest with you they actually are more entertained with our sport than like um able-bodied you know they just find it more strategic you know, um, it's just there's more to it, you know, and to watch somebody that's sitting down at five feet, five and a half feet tall, launching a three point basket to a 10 foot hoop, you know, it's just it, it, it's pretty cool. I mean, you see it all over YouTube now, you know, so it's 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 very exciting. The speed of it, you know, the way you have to move the chairs aren't just your everyday chair. They're built yeah. for sports. You and know, you, you're you guys are fucking you guys we might have playing football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were all over the court. Yeah. I mean, uh, here, let me, here. I'll show you right here. I don't know if you could see it. Can you see these two uh, chairs? Yeah. For see. our audio only listeners, it looks you got like a decked out sports chair. chair ready to go. It looks so, yeah. if, if for our audio listeners, if you've ever it seen a toddler chair, the walker you give somebody, that's kind of what it's got. It's got a little skeleton around it, just a little bit. And it's, awesome. it's just a little chair. There's not much. There's no safety. Built for speed no. and mobility. That's yeah. I love it. So we, 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 I played, 
I played basketball once like that, and um, you fuckers are mean because they yeah. put, they put us in a chair, and when you put able bodies against disabled guys in chairs, oh, <laughs> fuck with you, right? And then they wouldn't let us get up, and they strapped us down. So like when we got knocked over, we had to figure out how to get up. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. And and they're like, it's not that easy now, is it, punk? And I'm like, that's right. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna get out of this chair in like 45 minutes and fuck you up, right? Like, <laughs> I've never. And then we just challenge you. Then we just challenge you to an arm wrestle and see who wins. You know. See, oh my that's, god. That's some um, yeah something that I'm kind of wondering. Is that people that um cannot? Oh shit! I hit mute, Sylvia. I hit mute by accident. Sorry. Um, the things that is uh, for people that has a um, um, disability, like cannot walk, and then uh, it has to be in the wheelchairs. Does that mean that uh, you have a very strong hands? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> you know, upper, normally, yeah, you know, uh, I mean, I use I use my upper body in everything I do, you know, because I mean, they're arms and legs, you know, oh they're every, all that, yeah. It was for me. It wasn't even the question. It was the. The little eyebrows, the I could see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. you have very strong <laughs> hands. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Very like, strong hands, Jerry. <laughs> like she was like not say you wear a size thirteen Ooh. shoe. Does that mean you have very large I mean they're pretty, you know. <laughs> you tell me what you know. Jerry, you pervert. We're not asking you how big your schlong is. He's over there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's got handy skills. Leave him alone. He's a handy man. Leave him. So I did a well, show. I'll tell you what. Go ahead. My girl's hands fit in my palm, if that's any. <laughs> he's dating well. a virgin. That, that doesn't mean anything. She's 3'7". <laughs> She's well, five feet. Yeah, you're right. She is small. She's very tiny. It's called snipping snack size. <laughs> We're going oh, and this is a, a, it's a blessing in disguise yeah there was a question dante asked a little bit ago um about i think as well the whole you know being in it for you know i've been in a chair my whole life and is it depressing it's not for me i i love i i personally i want to put this out there i love it and i wouldn't have it in any other way so i think that's an important thing to also nail down is you know, I love, I mean, I don't think he's ever seen me at the arena down, depressed or anything like that. I do go through phases of that, but most of the time I'm smiling and happy, you know, just because it's life. Parking lot by, by the garbage cans and it's $10 and he gets a little depressed after. But that's the only time. I might I do a little fentanyl back there, too. <laughs> I mean, you never know, you know, add that in there. <laughs> and I didn't mean... <laughs> And I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I, it's just, you know, we all know. And I'm glad you brought that up because one of my jokes, and I did it, so two things. The first one is I did a ton of shows in Hawaii, and there was an Asian comedian called Pam Escalante, and uh -huh. she's got cerebral palsy. And yeah. oh, my God. Uh, we were going in on her. <laughs> we were having a good time, and us and Pam would laugh, and I'd be like, Pam, you're shaking things up back there. <laughs> and about I was like, she gets the best handies in the world. You got to be able to embrace it and love it, right? <laughs> and then on yeah. the other end of it, there's this kid named Lance. And I was doing a show with him. And the worst part is I show in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> white people look a lot. But I go in the show and I look over and there's a guy with no fucking legs. He's got two of the thump thumps on him, right? And I look over and I'm like, I swear <laughs> to God, I've seen this guy before, right? And I'm like, but I don't want to be like, you know, you got fake legs. You know, I know another guy with fake legs, you're him, right? And like that felt like how white guys feel like when they walk up to the black guy and go, hey, man, uh, got a question. So I didn't ask it, right? And shit, shit, five minutes later, the other comics who I knew show up and they asked the guy if he was about a Sacramento comic. He goes, hey, I know you. You're the one guy with no legs. And I just felt like, <laughs> like totally typecasting him. And he was like, no, it's okay. And then he started making jokes about how he got black legs. Yeah. Not because they're faster or anything. What were you guys thinking? <laughs> right? And shit like that. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a comedian, right? But it seems like you really like just enjoy the wheelchair life. And then you don't mind spreading the word about it. Um, I, I want to commend you on that. And I'm. Thank you. 
Three of us out here are like, was well, he suicidal because he's in a chair? No, it's because he lives in Seattle. It has nothing to yeah. do with there, right? It's called seasonal depression. It's not. It, that- yeah. Well, and I mean, uh, you know, and I'll be honest with you. I mean, I went through a, a long period of addiction. I mean, throwing the, throwing the fentanyl joke out there was just something I like doing. I love joking about it because it's a I'm in a good part of life now. I was able to get through that stuff, you know, but it, and it's not easy. You know, um, I, uh, I had a surgery on my kneecaps and, um, I was over prescribed Oxycontin and stuff like that and couldn't get off of it. Um, doctors pulled me off of it, but that wasn't, I was already hooked, you know? So Mm -hmm. I went, I had about a month off of that and then found it on the streets, uh, through a, 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 I would call a friend of mine. I I wouldn't say that now, you know. <laughs> yeah, but... He's not a friend, but no. you're an associate. Yes. No, she was she was more of a um. I I don't know how you'd say it. I mean, I you know she was yeah, like you said, you know she was a the street buddy, you know. She was yeah, neighbor. absolutely, was yeah. I mean, she was one of your user friends. You know how it is. Well, hey, and it wasn't even that. She was a drug dealer. You know, I mean, that she told me, you know, that's exactly how it it went. It it started with just more of an attraction to each other that left real quick. And then it it grew into more of a business opportunity for and uh, because a guy in a wheelchair probably gets Social Security. I could throw all my money. I didn't have any bills. So I throw all my money at that. And, Mm -hmm. you know, it went from street form pills to heroin real quick because that stuff as you guys all have heard it was much cheaper just like fentanyl is and i spent I that. I just just sylvie in indonesia where it's real cheap she's don't know <laughs> it's crazy it, well it's funny you say that because i know for a fact like my drug usage expanded when i was younger because everybody was like we're at a party and everybody's like acid's a dollar a hit and i was like well i got three dollars um <laughs> Wow. See, I never did that stuff. I don't know anything about it. You know, it's. I'm glad you, I mean, not saying you're glad you do, you're glad you don't, but hey, give it up for uh, Jerry here on his sobriety. Thank Ooh. you. Yeah. It's also a show Over for five time. years, you know. <laughs> you're the first one to acknowledge and, and, and talk about their drug usage. Let's get it back to it's a part of doing, me, you know. We're not doing drugs with disabilities, though. That is not. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> That could be a podcast, though. Where are you shooting up at? He can't shoot up. Somebody shoot him. He's shaking. We all eat some special shoot. brownies before yeah. the show starts. Yeah, that's it. We all talked about when we got the uh, vaccine. We're all normal now. We're not autistic anymore, right? Like, <laughs> so let me ask you. It's, 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 I already know you get laid. You're obviously not one of these guys that's letting the disabilities stop them from being sexually active, stuff like that, right? Yeah. So yeah. When 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 did you start like? It, I, and I asked this because we had Hollis on here. Hollis is half the man I am, and I literally mean that because we have the same size torso, but he's like missing. I can't remember what it was called, but he only has like a stump on one side and then like an angle of a leg, so he's like a real man size halfway, right? Yeah. And he's got a lot of women. He's, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a Christian guy. He's a virgin still, right? He's like not trying to get laid, whatever. Yeah. It's like, don't you ever get like the people that are like, Hey, you know, I've never, uh, so do you get a lot of adventure? Like where women that are just like, I've never done a guy in a wheelchair. Can I give before, you a play? Yeah. Before, uh, my, you know, um, yeah, before, before my girlfriend, and- yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, she's the only one I have my eyes on right now. Yeah, and will be, you know. Uh, but before <laughs> that, uh, it was, you know, I, I could get a little crazy with that, you know, um, because it is something that I, I think the confidence too, having a little confidence with that too, you know. Um, Being I the know, guy that'll wheel up to a girl and be like, hey, good looking. How are you? Yeah. yeah or, you know, I, I, it, it I, I, yeah, I don't know how, you know, when you're not looking for it, it comes to you. That's all I could say about Aww. that. You know what I mean? So you're such you know. a good guy, Jerry. You know what it is? Jerry's the, 
Yeah, he's the Hallmark special guy that the girl like turns around and spills a beer on and he's like, Oh, I'm sorry. And she's like, Oh my god, can I buy a beer? And he's like, I mean, if you must. It's pint size. And she's like, Oh yeah. <laughs> she'll stay in this hometown and learn the true meaning of Christmas if it means That's, you. Holidays on wheels. Right. Him and telling him he's gonna eat what he likes. And oh sorry, is that misery? That's the movie Miss I've seen that before plot twist right when <laughs> december rolls around you got to start wearing a flannel so you can be that guy well, were yes you, were you the usual so and, I, and i'm i'm gonna ask some tough dickhead questions you seem like a fun guy right so were you the usual Good. wheelchair guy that automatically you were prom queen and palm king and everybody was like vote for jerry and all that or did you just were you just regular I was an outcast i would say i wasn't really connected to a lot of people back then um i was more uh a troublemaker um didn't like Open pot, <laughs> yep, skip and skip. yeah uh, totally I, <laughs> I dropped out of college i mean i got my ged you know i mean like i was saying a little bit ago i was a drug addict for 10 years i mean if that doesn't tell you how it was you know what i mean it was i just did the math that's 32 to 22 oh shit never mind he yeah. didn't have that many sober years okay my yeah. bad i'm telling you i mean it was and i started you know and it, it, uh, with all that set aside i mean to t stay on the the subject i guess yeah um i might jump be. around i'm known to do that you can ask <laughs> you're rolling around. you're on wheels baby we can't i'm keep telling you <laughs> i gotta hit all of them you know uh yeah it, it um i don't know it was uh i was homeschooled um i didn't like it you know and i think it really you know so and i wasn't really a part of any group with that i mean we were but i wasn't i wasn't really connected to a lot of people with that um and when i went to college it was just party time i was like whoa this is fine you know i mean it was a whole different situation with life i didn't know how to handle it at all and dropped out got my ged went to play basketball moved to florida you know um really on the search of what i wanted to do in life and you know dated screwed around you know, in every way possible, you know, and just learned about how to be in this thing called a wheelchair and be who, you know, figure out who I wanted to be in life. And, you know, I think, I, I mean, 25 to 30, I think the, the other thing I want to say is I think I learned more about anything from the streets. I think that taught me exactly where, where, I, where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be today, you know, um, so I don't. If I, I hope I answered your question, it's it, it. There's no right or wrong answer, and the reason why I say that and ask what I did is, is I, I try to and um, I try to normalize the idea of those with disabilities, and then try to kind of tear down a lot of the bullshit, right? Because yeah, bad people on here were like even Hollis was like hates it when women do that when they're like oh my god i've never been with a midget oh my god and he's like well, i'm not a midget first off i'm a full-grown torso and then he's you know because he's his, his ass bigger so he has to give him his whole speech right like this like yeah. I, i'm not i'm not i mean i am asperger's i am autistic i mean i'm really good at math i pay attention to everything why aren't you talking to me anyway hey i wasn't done talking to you, right like you gotta give me the whole 30 seconds right like i'm in a wheelchair here's why i played basketball i played sports yeah bitch my dick works like I know you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And strong hand. <laughs> it's a speed interview. No, he's like, don't forget strong hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's crazy. That's, um, the, that's the other part is like normalizing it, right? Because on yeah. the other end, there's always I that. Mean, Go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, you know, when you work, you drive, you do, you know, it, that's exactly what I try to do. A lot of people will see me out there, especially if it's outside of the arena. I used to do a lot of uh, security guard work in Seattle. Yep. Um, and they'd be like, hey, we're so happy to see you out here. And I'm like, do you say that to the next guy, too? <laughs> you know? oh, like, we, we were taking a picture. I said I told Hollis about this. We talked about this. Me and Hollis, we all took a picture. And everybody's like, bend down for Hollis. And I was like, 
I feel like you're treating him like a cancer kid. Like, he's not dying. Totally, totally. I'm going to stand up. You're going to see he's three and a half fucking feet tall. We're not bending down for Hollis. Like, no. And and after I said that, he started laughing. He's like, I hate you for saying that. And don't bend over. But that's funny. (laughs) That's right. That's right. And it's like, hey, hey, somebody walks up to you and like, hey, we're proud of you, Jerry. Keep going. And you're like. I'm Dude. proud of you too, <laughs> motherfucker. Have you seen your face? I'm proud yeah. of you for waking like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I it, it it's in, it, honestly it's insulting more of the time because it's like people think that we're less than them. A lot mm-hmm. of society does. And that's why they got to make everything so accommodatable or accessible. And it's like, no, watch what I do with it. How about that? You know, I didn't ask you for help. I can do what I got to do. Maybe I should ask you if you need help. How about the other way around? Hey. I, went, yeah, no. I was on my vacation. Yeah, no. I was on my vacation and I was, I figured that out. I was like, I'm used to being around handy, able people. And I'm, yep. able, I'm deaf too. <laughs> and I don't want help. And so when people try to help me, it makes me mad. Totally. Like it, yeah, you're not being helpful. You're just in my fucking way. That's it. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. I, I've told people that when they're like, you know, I was. Uh, I remember doing search and rescue for Union Gospel Mission back when I was in treatment, and a friend of mine was there. They 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 would have volunteers, and uh, she she asked me, and she's being nice about it. She's like, "Can I help you get into the van?" And I look at her and I'm like, "Can I help you?" <laughs> So did you ask if you didn't ask the hand the regular people that question today, why are you asking? Yeah. It? And she was know. short. She Carrie Carrie ain't five she might be five feet as well. I mean she's a shorter <laughs> late sweet lady, but I was just like, Can I and she laughed about it. we had a laugh, but I'm like, you know, I, I'm just my whole thing is from being raised as a you know kid in a wheelchair till today. My parents made sure they put everything and extra in my way to make life harder. That way, when I was an adult, it would be easier. And it would, and I thank them for that because it is. I mean, when you're living alone, you know, you want to make sure there is not a damn thing you cannot do. When I was on the streets, mm-hmm. I had to make sure I can get in and out of the woods, in and out of the camps and stuff like that. Not to go back on all that stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're yeah, out they- there. Yeah, you got to be able to fend for yourself. And if you well, can yeah, yeah. Minimum, then people are going to take advantage of you. If I've got somebody to wipe my ass, then they're going to take advantage of me while I'm wiping my ass. There's That's three. right. I grew up on the streets. I grew up at Union Gospel Mission. I cried yep. last time I went there because I had thought that auditorium was so huge. It is yeah. not. As a no. kid, it reminded me of like a gymnasium. And I went in there to hand out socks and started crying and ran out. My friend was like, what's wrong? I was like, I used to sleep in here. I don't want wow. to. You know what I mean? So that's it. I'm getting teary eyed. But uh, <laughs> I went to treatment there. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we've crossed paths a couple of times. We'll leave that one alone. But sure. it's one of those for me. Like, I, I, I think there's so many people. I mean, I hate the other guy. I'm not going to lie. I hate the asshole in the weird chair. It's like, life's great. Oh, my God. Not that you didn't you used to hint it at it. But we all know we wish we had four, four uh, working limbs. We all wish we weren't whatever. But the guy that's like, wheelchair life's better than none. Well, no, well, don't go that far, asshole. Don't lie to me. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? And I that's the... Those are the two paradigms I'm trying to fight. Like we're not, we're not all need a help. We're not all liars either. You know what I mean? Like the guy, yes. I, I hate that guy. I'm blind. It doesn't affect my life. And yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've never it does. seen a sunset. I mean, like, don't lie to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even with jobs and stuff, you know, like, I mean, I'm lucky to be wor- working at CPA making what we make there. I mean, it's, you know, the highest paying unarmed security job in Western Washington. Be quiet. You're running. <laughs> gonna keep coming out the woodwork. Suit man's got some money. The guy in the wheelchair said it. We heard it here, folks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. But I will say, you know, um, it, it, that's the thing. It's like there's some jobs I'm not going to be able to you know, to do. And I hate to say it like that. I really do because I don't ever want to restrict myself, you know, on anything. I want to be able to work for the union. I do with, 
like I was saying with my job right now, but I'm talking about like, I want to be able to make big money in my life. You know, I mean, I'm not the kind of person it's like, let me flip and flip burgers for $20 an hour. Now, nothing against people that do, but I want to be able to go guys. cancel the white guy. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, but that, you know what I mean? You don't want to, I don't want to settle. I've never been one to do that. I always want, I want to push the limit and see how far I could push that, you know, and I, I'm going to continue to do so. Let me ask you this. <laughs> as far as dating goes, you, you had, do you, when you were just dating, do you tell them about the chair? Was the chair in your profile? Was the chair? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Like, did you do the online dating, or you seem like? Yes, I did. I did, did because I was working a bunch, and I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't go. I'm sober, so I don't go out a lot. You know, because a lot of times people are like, "Let's go get a drink," and that's not my, you know. And I don't want a 13 step on somebody, which is meeting somebody at an AA meeting and you know, going off to their spot, you know, and doing that. <laughs> you know, the 13th so. step, you pervert, you've got a whole line for it. When you pick them up, they, they, it's absolutely, <laughs> you know. Disabled so. people can be horn balls and creeps too. Thank yeah, you yeah that's right. <laughs> well, you know, this is, when it came down to meeting Trina, I, I'm not going to lie. I remember she said that I tried to push her away with it, I guess. I said, hey, just so you know, I'm in a wheelchair. This was before we met, just before we met. And um, she said, I told her, like, I was trying to, to deter her from the date, I guess. And I was just saying it because I'm like, well, she's going to see it anyway. No, it was not in my profile because I think that it, it it's something that I guess – would need to be more explained because a lot of people, especially with a disability, you never know what it is. And a lot of people will look at it and judge immediately before mm -hmm. asking the question of what is it? What do you got going on? How does it affect you as an adult? Does it affect you sexually? You know, a lot of, because a lot of people do want to know that, you know, nope, and she just responded. She's like, Nope, it doesn't good hands, strong hands, strong hands. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Just get handsy. Just get handsy. You're good. You're that's, good. Yeah, that's right. You well, know, so. That's that's the thing I ask because a lot of us always say, Do, are you upfront about it? I know I've been a lot more upfront about it because I know I'm weird and I know I have my mood swings and my anxiety. And like, if I text you and it takes four hours for you to text back, I'm probably going to be like, are you breaking up with me? Because my anxiety kicks in. Like, that's just yeah. how it is. I'm not crazy. It's just you were texting for five minutes straight and then you stopped texting for four hours. Yeah, like, I know. It doesn't make fucking sense why you didn't text back. like. And that's almost ghosting, in my opinion. I mean, you know, if, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's it's weird how they uh, – communication is a weird thing these days. You know, it's very uh, – my. you know, we, we go through that too, you know, where she'll – you know, I'll be online or she'll be online because we don't usually text. We message on, in, on Messenger. We always oh, have. Oh, worse because then you see she's online now. And she yeah. was online 20 minutes ago. She was online yeah. 30 minutes ago. And you still haven't well, fucking responded. That's the, And the thing is, like, she loves TikTok, you know. And um, I love that she does. And she's – with her past, my whole thing is, man, for her, it's like I let her live. I want her to be able to enjoy. She's never been able to. She's been through some – and I don't want to get into all of her – stuff but she's been through some really nasty stuff so i want my whole thing is as you know her guy now to to be able to give her all the trust and honor and just an, an amazing new look at life in a relationship you know so um you know integrity and respect is is my you know and communication if you don't have communication the thing won't go anywhere but Having mm -hmm. integrity and respect, you know, is, you know, that, that way she knows when I'm not with her, we're all good. And she knows that she can call me 24, 24, seven, you know, even if I'm exhausted, I'll pick up and let her know. I'll be like, Hey, you know, last night I stayed home. I was, I was beat, you know, after driving out there, going to work, coming home, I came home early. I was just, I would, I would, I've been overdoing it a little bit, you know, and I'm just trying to figure out uh, the right balance, you know, but, and, and she talk about supportive, you know, you know, stay home and sleep was her thing, you know? So, 
Um, but yeah, I mean, you just got to have the best, you know, for each other and trust that it's going to happen. You know, um, we did jump into it pretty quick, but I think we jumped into it at a mutual speed that we both wanted to go. You know, and I think that's important. When, too. when are you getting married? How, how long have you We're been looking here? at October 22nd of next year. And I'll be honest with you, we just, we literally just started dating at the end of July. So it's been pretty quick. Well, he's buying it. For- yes, he lied. He lied. It hasn't been two seasons. This is white people shit variety, D. Yeah, that, yeah I'm going to write that down. Is this that the wheelchair easy. edition of The Bachelor? Is that what's going on? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, I don't know what he said. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh fuck you, buddy! Did I lose internet again? I said, I did. Oh no! I said, is this a wheelchair edition of The Bachelor? Is that what's going on here? See, <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought you guys heard me. I was over here losing it, and you're like, no. I, I saw you lose it. I didn't hear the whole thing though. God damn it! <laughs> so it's, no, it's it, yeah. It's it's been it's like I said. It's been you know she's been. In, you know, incredible sense. And I, and I, and I don't know if I said this, I did tell you that we met online, I believe, right? Facebook dating was where we met. Oh, so, and yeah, I, that- I, you know, and th- this is the other thing I would give people advice for S- s- spread your wings on it. Look beyond your, your neighborhood. Your yeah. I, like I said, I live in King County. She's three counties away from me. Like she's a two and a half hour, two hour drive from me, you know? So it takes effort. But it take and that's good though. Like you want to, it uh, it shouldn't be easy, you know. It sh- it should be easy, but not in a lot, you know. You should also have to be able to put effort into the thing, and that's what I love about it is it makes you have to work for it, you know. It, it, and and it's for us, it's been incredible. I've never been engaged before. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Aww. You know, so. <laughs> Look at you! Look at you! And I hope she is too. And I, I, I was just I gonna say, is. that's what he, he hops on the live. She's like, mm, "It's all right." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mediocre. I told her about you. Three stars. <laughs> I told her, yeah. I told her about this thing, and she's like, "Have fun." <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope she, I. I don't know. I hope she does. And I, I'm all right. You know, I'm. I'll be completely honest. I. I'm. As much as I love being on here, I'm 100% self conscious about the whole thing, but I wanted to do it just to have the experience. So, Yay! you know, you, it's, you, know uh, it's you may not know it or not, but guess what? You made it. It's already been almost an hour. It's awesome. Yeah, you already made it through the episode. I know it didn't seem <laughs> like it, but it's almost over. But yeah, you, you, you've done it. So, wow. What, is, what was the. Uh, what was the, and I'll just ask this. I think this is the first thing. What's the funniest dating experience you've had because of the wheelchair? You think? Oh my gosh! Is there one? <laughs> um, looks like I should ask Sylvie that question. She already. <laughs> left. She's like, I can think about this one time. I got yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Get back to me if she has an answer. No, no, no. This is your show, buddy. We're not. Don't worry. Do We're here all turn? the time. Yeah, See, like, no. that one. He's like, I'm gonna defer. It. I don't. I'm about <laughs> That's to right. I might not uh, get married if I tell you. <laughs> right? yeah, He's trying yeah, to wheel yeah, his yeah. way out of it. He's I don't brilliant. know how. I'm not sure if. Uh, well, let me. So. I'll nope, just okay. let me bring up a I'll bring up an example of uh, like a fun, can I just bring up an example of what made us what has made us laugh the hardest during the relationship? I have that. Yeah. I was getting this coffee down the street, came home, and she's got a few, she's got a step. So she's got two steps to get in to onto her porch, and then another step to get into her house, and then a freaking step to get into her freaking bedroom. It's stepped down. This freaking place is full of steps, and I can manage them. I get, so I get all the way into the house, and I believe it was a rainy day because I think my tires were wet. Thank God I used two thermoses, one for her Red Bull smoothie and one for my white coffee. And um, I thought I think I handed her her drink first, and she went back to chill in her bed. And I'm I pop a wheelie to go. You've ever seen a guy in a wheelchair jump down a curb? How you go on a wheelie to jump down the curb? Mm-hmm. You know. So I do that, and I don't know her her daughter. She's got a couple kids. Her daughter's behind the door, and 
kind of inching towards me and I'm afraid I'm going to jump down and, and get her, you know, hit her with my, my front axle, my front, my chair. So I hesitate. Well, my, t- my, I hesitated, but my chair kind of did not. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I immediately, my, it goes forward and slow motion. I land completely backward yeah, on the funny. step, yeah, yeah. you know? So and she's just, and her daughter comes up screaming, Jerry, Jerry, you know, and she comes, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I just start laughing. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. About it. I'm like, I just, you know, and it's just, you know, you just have fun with it. So, but I, I think, I mean, that's the funnest thing. I mean, the funniest thing I've been through, I think so far and that I could think of. I mean, we we're always laughing and giggling about you know, stupid shit in this relationship. It's it's been a blast. But beforehand, I I honestly, I don't know. I I guess for me, this is the thing for me. Before her, see, you know, I take a lot of different time between a breakup and the relationship to figure out, you know, to learn about if I was the issue, even if she was, if I could fix anything. So oh, there's God. been, Dick. I don't. Uh... I know, I know, I know. Yourself. You're just saying that for the fucking cameras, all right? You know what no, I, no, no, it's for real. Two years. Two years, yeah. Two years and then a year in between. If you want so, a good man, they're out there. They're just in wheelchairs, bitches. That's, that's right. right. You got to... Gotta... I'm writing they're... that down. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they are. You hey, know. Sylvia's still over here like strong hands. That's right. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I got you covered. <laughs> well, it's it's been a fun show. Did you have a good time, Jerry? Oh, it's awesome. It went too fast. Yeah, that's what yeah. she said. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Bro, the first like- time. Ten seconds, not even. No, oh, whoa, that's not what we were asking. That's not what we were asking. <laughs> it Jerry. is. You just said it. So wow. Sylvie's like, never mind. No, I'm strong hands. Ten seconds, not enough. <laughs> Trust me. If she watches this, I'm gonna be. In, she's gonna chew me a new one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we knew that was gonna happen. Was gonna say, Everybody talks real tough to your old lady. Sees you on the podcast. What happened to Jerry? His old lady saw him on Dante's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, thank you. Like 10 seconds. 10 thank seconds. You. <laughs> you know what, Jerry? If we ever need an extra guest podcast guy, I'll give you a call. It seems like you're a good guy. You have a fun time. Yeah. You want to do this again? Maybe we'll talk to you a little more seriously next time. Not yeah. so much, but give it up for Jerry Mitchell, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. You can come by anytime, you guys. It was fun. And I'm if you're ever in Seattle, on. you go to a hockey game or anything at Climate Fledge Arena. He'll be wheeling around. He's a security guard. I don't know what he's securing other than midgets, but it's all right. I'm not saying my that elevator, else. bro. My <laughs> elevator. My... <laughs> Give it up for our co-host. Looks like she's on an acid trip, potato chip enthusiast. Yeah. Yes. Killing it on the sound effects today. All right. Give it up for my <laughs> second question maker, Sylvie. She's getting her questions in these days. Give it up for Sylvie. Yeah. Hey, all Give for you right here, dude. Oh. Hey, so, uh, we're going to call her Give Me a Squeeze, Sylvie. Right. Oh, yeah. hey, last but not least. I don't have a variety of D's anymore. I'm trying to find one variety D. Yes. <laughs> and if you're, if you're in England or anywhere close, she is single, fellas. She is single and ready to mingle. And don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Last mm-hmm. but not least, I'm your host with the most. I'm Dante Soupman Productions. Um, we've been doing autastic artists. We got another autastic artist. We've got people lined up dating with disabilities coming every month. So check us out. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great Sunday, everybody. And uh, I'm here. They're queer. Have a good day. Yay! <laughs>